Eat delicious and lose weight with Chef Pachi. Hi, welcome to Chef Pachi and today's amazing chicken sandwich. It is a delicious food with vegetables so you can have it and never gain weight. First thing we're going to do is we're going to season our chicken. And I have some leftover parsley and basil from a pesto that I was making. So I'm going to process it and I'm going to freeze most of it. Some of it I'm going to keep for the seasoning of our chicken. And that's what I do with every extra herb I have. Now we're going to season our chicken breast. So basically what I do is I add to the, some chicken strips, I add some yogurt, and today I'm using Greek yogurt. You see, it's thicker. And some Dijon mustard, grainy Dijon mustard. I basically have two pounds of chicken there where I'm adding a quarter of a cup of mustard and a quarter of a cup of Greek yogurt. First, I place my yogurt into a little cup, about half a cup. I add the peel of two limes and two tablespoons of that delicious herb mix that I just made. Now we're going to put our chicken tenders onto our panini grill. I like sometimes adding a little basil leaf so that it looks beautiful on top. Another thing that I usually have frozen are onions and I freeze my red onions and white onions because when I get a lot from the market and I don't use them at the time or I know I'm not going to use them all, I slice them with a mandolin or a food processor and I freeze them in servings. Now we're going to make our vegetable. So we preheat our pan to medium, add a teaspoon of coconut oil and place our cup of onions with a pinch of salt and pepper. Since the onions are frozen, they have some water inside and that moisture is going to help us cook them super fast. Check that out, they come apart in seconds. I'm going to add a little bit of our frozen garlic onto the pan and mix these delicious onions until we get them beautifully glazed. If you see that your pan begins to dry, all you have to do is add a pinch of water. That's going to create some steam so that you don't need to keep adding more and more oil. And check it out, all of those flavors detach from the pan and they are perfectly delicious. Now we're going to season this with some coconut aminos because we don't want to add soy sauce. This will be a gluten-free delicious sandwich. Look at this beautiful, beautiful onions. Again, they started to dry out and again I added a little bit more water. You could add wine, you could add rum, but if it's a family meal, then you just add water and it's going to evaporate. So don't worry, it's not going to remove any of the flavor. As a matter of fact, it's going to mix the flavor more evenly within your food. Now we're going to add some cherry tomatoes that I've cut in half. And these I add last so that all of my onions are cooked, glazed and savory before I add my cherry tomatoes. And I add my cherry tomatoes at the end. I want them to be a little whole. I want you to be able to feel them when you eat. An extra bit of water, pinch of salt and pepper, cover the pan for two minutes. And that's it. Look at that. Beautiful. Amazing. It's no problem. It takes four minutes. In the meantime, our panini was cooking our chicken. And look how beautiful it is. It's amazing. You can do it with the basil leaves or without. Whatever you desire will be perfect. Now we're going to set them out because we're going to put together our delicious sandwich. And I'm heating up a baguette. My secret when I make sandwiches and burgers is I heat up the baguette, 
I cut it in half and then we're gonna add some delicious Dijon mustard to it on both sides and on the left we have our vegetable just some greens we're gonna add those delicious glazed onions and cherry tomatoes you just put your chicken tender on top of the bread the onions and look at this in less than 10 minutes you have a perfectly healthy and delicious meal because it is super important that your meals are delicious remember delicious diets are sustainable diets with chef pachi Scroll down for the recipe, you can print it. Subscribe and turn on the bell for recipe updates.